Station. That was so surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Say again, Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of our images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's both. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame this. I should take a picture. To, plus, it's perfect for me. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. <laughs> I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. You're asking me? L let me think. Um, you either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. The process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Stereotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15? Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. 
I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little Insta camera. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentary. Here's a poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass Welcome to the real world. That's cute. Yeah, but she's huh. Then I might send you a special oh, picture. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that because it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. Last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. closes, a window opens, or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I want it, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, 
Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a photographer? I cannot believe this. He captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? Because of our images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted. I did it. Can you give me I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of our Keep it together, of Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of I'm sorry, my old broken her. camera is new again. Honesty about the economic conditions of the air, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat, which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse, and both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony, and if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing it's still the same stupid picture. Century, so everything seems the same as before. Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surreal My pencil case is still in the same like place. Tonto, he was a true Renaissance man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples of that truly Damn awful... It, everything is the same. The, kids love so much. the selfie. And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression. Or selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I know. So if any... Shh, shh, I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. First. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, who shit. knows this? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. The process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the metro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to get... Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louise Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading these signed chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be vetted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if I see you, Max Caulfield, don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition every I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here. Photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Yo, Daniel, you remember that it's payday? If I don't hurry to that bathroom, another girl will be in trouble. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. I was already tapping you, kid. Stephen Bryan, they're control me. You are going to get in hell the more hammer to break it open. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Max, rewind now! Missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit. I need the hammer to break it open. No, 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 no! People trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never no, figure out what he's enough. thinking. Does he hate I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes, he was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. 
Are you going to bust him? This is serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. 